Welcome. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to everyone. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Uh, um, this is the year of 2020. Now, ladies and gentlemen, 2021, sorry, the year of 2021 is here and we have uh, the energy of uh, the Hereafter Establishment, Institutes, the Organization, Governments uh, are coming in and I see the truth uh, is going to be coming out. So when we look, we have the energy of the Hierophant. What is the Hierophant? It's about institutes, the organization. Um, it is the number five energy. It is powerful because it is uh, helping you in such a powerful way. So this year, 2021, with this energy of uh, the number five, five is about changes. So changes in corporation, institution, government. Uh, is going to be um changes so it is going to be a year of spiritual teachers finding the guru within you okay um falling or updating systems crumbling institutions or belief um refound faith um slim and only things and a spiritual journey so this is a year of a wonderful transformation. It's about the lies and deceptiveness in corporation institution is going to be falling. Anything that is not built on solid ground, anything that was built up with um, um, deceptiveness is going to be fall. Their teachers, sacred mentors, their loving leaders, guidance, awaken. I am deeply grateful for your heart underneath um, net cast the wit. So this is a powerful, powerful year. The tiny traveler has a journey so far to hear. It is about um, bringing back stability, discipline, and cooperation, institution, government. This is the energy of the hurt. We have not seen um, the energy of the elephant uh, um, um, in a long time that is coming up as the hurt energy. This is a powerful, powerful uh, situation. So if you notice, you had problems where last year it was over people in power and people that have used their powers in the wrong way. And I see um, justice is not here. Yes, justice is here. Um, wonderful. And justice is going to be in the month of February. Um, whatever is happening and transpiring, I see truths is going to be coming out about um, government institutes, the organization or um, companies, the deceptiveness that was uh, in um, corporation is going to be coming out. Truth is going to be revealed and uh, I see balance is going to be coming back. So ladies and gentlemen this year is going to be a powerful year there's no question about it it is going to be a powerful alignment of energy it is going to be unbelievable a year of stability that is going to be coming out and people are going to be understanding and is going to be returning stability um in institutes the organization where there was lies deceptiveness i see truth is coming out okay so what we're realizing and what is transpiring and what we're realizing is that in the month um, and we are going to be looking at what is coming up. So cooperation, um, if you notice the energy of the lovers and uh, the emperor, people in power, and I see um, people and uh, government institution organization is going to be working together in order to balance whatever is happening and transpiring and this is going to be very very good so um if you notice new um a new uh, a, a sort of a new stability is going to be coming in in government institutes the organization okay um and this is going to be wonderful because it's again it's as if people are working together with each other in order to balance out some sort of a problem some sort of an issue some sort of a situation that was going in so if you're coming in the year with a whole lot of uh, trying to find strength to deal with some sort of an issue or problem yes there is a shutdown but as you come to the end of december as you come to the end of september the third quarter um some sort of a resolution because in the month of october november and december you this this situation is going to be ending 
in the month of December. So whatever that was happening and transpiring, I see an ending because you come in trying to find strength to deal with some sort of an issue, problem, situation, and you're leaving, resolving this situation and this problem and moving further and moving out of some sort of a unexplained um, problem and issues and situation that was created and you're going to be resolving um, these. So this is going to be good. So January is a, is a month of finding inner strength, um, some sort of an issue, some sort of a problem, finding inner strength to deal with some sort of a, a problem that was going on in government institution organization. It could be your company, however, this is coming up, however, this is transpiring. Um, but I see that this is what is going to be coming up for a lot of you, okay? So um, you got to be aware of this. Now, when we look at uh, um, January, it's going to be a fire energy. So I see hardship for Leos in the month of January um, with a government institutes, the organization. So I see a lot of you Leos could be having some sort of a problem and issues that is going to be affecting you when it comes on to government institution and corporation where you have to deal with some sort of a problem um you leos are coming in the month of uh, um the year of uh, um 2021 with some sort of an issue and problems okay um the rest of you is like trying to deal with some sort of a is institute um and problems and changes that is coming up then when we look at February, it's an air energy. It's about justice. It's a bringing back balance, balance um, over what was happening and transpiring, bringing back some sort of a stability and balance to the ups and downs that was created um, in conscious and in the world. So it's, it's as if February, some sort of a balance is going to be coming in in February, where this balance is going to be returning to a lot of of people that was feeling as if they were in this yo-yo effect. So that that is an air energy that is coming up in the month of February, but it is going to be good. It is going to be bringing um, a lot of positive <clears throat> stability is going to be coming in because when the energy of justice comes up, it has to do with um, institutional situation that was created and then they're bringing back justice so in the month of february um truths and integrity fairness uh, compensation compensation the law cause and effect and being responsible for your choices action balance equilibrium karma electrify and constant rebirth so um the month of uh, february is going to be a karmatic month a month where you're working on your karmas you're really really working on your karmas and really being in back balance okay then we are moving forward and we're looking at march and not a fire energy so we have a second fire energy in march is it going to be a second lockdown now in march the energy um that is here is the tower in you know this is about unexpected changes a massive shift that is going to be coming in in march be aware of that um the belief system is going to be shattered and the paragon is going to be flipped an unexpected opportunity could be coming in for some of you okay so um you could be rebuilding your life in the month of march in a new way okay being flexible and finding um the standard of uh, um, lighting the way for others okay so a rift in reality so it could be a really tower moment a really transition that is going to be coming up that is going to be affecting everyone and it's going to be coming in fast it's going to be coming in fast fast and moving out fast so be aware of this then we have the wheel of fortune and I mean, have the Wheel of Fortune. April is going to be good. Yes, because it's government institution. It's time for taxes. So in April, a lucky time is, is, is going to be breaking for you guys. And fate, destiny, <clears throat> spinning the Wheel of Fortune is going to be here. Ups and downs of life, seeking some sort of a balance in your world. But fortune times is going to be 
um, coming up for you guys. So April, things are going to be changing and a cycle, a brand new cycle is going to be beginning. And that is just so, so powerful. So think of April as a, um, a cycle is over and a new cycle is going to be coming in. That is going to be powerfully, powerful, leading you guys further. Then we look at the month of May. I love the month of May. Um, so congratulations to you, Gemini um, in May. Soulmates, you're going to be meeting your soulmate. New love is going to be coming in partnership. Choices, <clears throat> new business partnership, new um, contracts is going to be coming in. The month of May is going to be beautiful for everyone. It's as if it is bringing back the ingredient to happiness again, okay? So the texture of the empowerment is going to be coming in, and this is going to be um, fantastic. So a lot of people who are looking for relationship, um, in May is going to be good because April is when the heaviness um, lifted up and people are now starting to get back up to normality, okay? And that is going to be absolutely fantastic. Uh, June, um, balance, this is what I said. So um, as you come into April, um, May and June, there is the second quarter is when balance is going to be coming in. So um, harmonization, balance, um, um, coming to a middle point, of, of, of avoiding all sorts of issues, problem, blending your energies, but, you know, bringing back alchemy, finding the purpose, the life again, goal lockets, it could be opening zones of positive awakeness, so, um, encountering new turns, new life lessons into spiritual goal and practice healing. So measuring the moderation. So this is when a lot of you with the shutdown, January, February, and March is going to be realizing, okay, it is what it is. Let me just, uh, um, you know, find something to fill my time. And in April, things are going to be start looking up. May, you're feeling good. You're going out uh, and in June is when really equilibrium and balance is going to be coming back and this is going to be powerful. So it is um, the first three months is a little bit rocky. Um, I should say the first quarter is going to be a little bit unstable. So whatever is happening and transpiring, expect that the first quarter is going to be a little bit unstable, but it is it is what it is. Um, but just work with it because as you come April, May, June, June is when powerful balance, you're going to be feeling good and you're going to, whatever that was blocking, um, a situation, a shift, I see new integrity is coming in and this is going to be absolutely, absolutely powerful and a powerful alignment of energy is going to be coming up that you guys are going to be so, so happy. So the, the first Half years, the three months is not, is, a, is 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 off balance. But as you come in the second quarter, you have fire, you have water, and you you have two beautiful energy. Um, if you're looking for a job, yes, go for it in um February and in April, May, and June. Okay, so um, these are the months where job openings are going to be opening up, and this is going to be good. The second half of the year has to do with people in power. Um, whatever is happening and transpiring, you're dealing with the energy of the emperor. Um, these are people in authority that a lot of you. So it could be um, but if it's if if you're a business person, it's going to be a successful period. Success, stability, leadership, the divine masculine is going to be coming in, planning and diverting and delivering, building and expanding on yourself and in your empire and the legend of a business person. This is going to be a visionaire. So a lot of you could be starting your business in the second period and it is going to be providing you with wealth and stability. So bedrock of a strategy. And this is going to be powerful, this um, half year that is coming up. Okay, so that is good. So we start the um, half year with the energy of the magician. Now, I, I, I love the energy of the magician because it's about finding your potential and receiving that message of your creativity, your magic. 
powerful manifestation ability is going to be opening up uh, in the month of july so take it run with it use this manifest what you want a time of seeking good intention it is going to be an alchemist okay incarnation of alchemist so use the energy in july um, to create your stability and wealth so business people um august is going to be absolutely fab 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 that is when the masculine energy comes up and it's a, a success success is going to be coming to a lot of you who have just started your business and this is going to be absolutely powerful and it's going to be bringing positive alignment of energy it's a fire energy then we go to the water energy in the month of september and as usual ladies and gentlemen um awakening um is the energy september is always the month of healing whatever is happening and transpiring september is always always the month of healing awakening to your divine natural rhythm judgment facing the music uh, ascension so ascension could be starting the month of September also for some of you. Accepting and forgiving your beautiful soul. So it is a month of healing. This is what I said to a lot of people. And it's at, 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 about instinctually um, extending yourself and finding your higher self and the spiritual side to you. And this is going to be very powerful because I see a lot of you are going to be healing yourself because we have two positive healing energies beside each other that is given is bringing back balance and is healing problems and situation on this planet and this is going to be evoluting where spirit guides guiding angel ufos or unidentified objects um as um, um star seed is coming in multi-dimension beams is coming in that is going to be bringing some sort of a balance to this planet so get ready it is going to be balancing out in 2021 so as you know um uh, we had said 2021 is like a, a purging okay and this is going to be really a purging but you're going to be receiving help so the, the 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 second quarter and the third quarter is really really good in this year and it is going to be helping especially business people and if you decide to start your business in this year fab 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 go for it it is a yes um so if you decide i've been working so long for people i want to start my own business it's going to be a yes go for it in this year okay this year is going to be a year of entrepreneur for a whole lot of people where they're going to be start building their own business and stability. So this is powerful. Let's look at the last three months, October, November and December. The month of October is going to be powerful. Um, and whatever happens to some of you in July, whatever you manifest in July is going to be coming out in October. So October is about um, the renewal of hope ex um, and expect a positive situation, dreams being fulfilled. Whatever you manifest is going to be a, um, uh, arriving and rewards is going to be there. It's like divine timing with opportunities, okay? Seeing the beauty in your situation and accepting it. So it's a, it, it, October is going to be an... Um, optimism where you collect on what you have been working on all the year from January and this is going to be so powerful and bringing up so much powerful energies uh, for you and this is going to you're going to be feeling um so powerful when um this year is going to be fi finished it's not like yes um last year this is going to be a more powerful year of fulfilling um yourself okay um so another wonderful whatever you decide to do july august uh, july october um august also is a yes okay let's uh, look at november november it's a yes 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 november is a yes so whatever is happening whatever is transpiring whatever you decide to do yes powerful positive successful optimism joy happiness celebration family and jovial of re 
um, revamping yourself. So yes, yes, yes. Whatever you decide to do in the month of November, it's going to be a huge yes. Okay. So let's say you begin a job in April. You're going to be very, very successful in November. Whatever that has happened, whatever that has transpired, success is going to be here for you in November. November is one of the best months and uh, you're going to be whatever you decide to do go for it and do it in november it is going to be a yes okay now december is when the transformation so december a rebirthing is going to be taking place after the hardship that some of you had had to deal with in the beginning of the year um regeneration and uh, a metaphor is the death of a relationship or ideas, the ending, letting go, things that no longer uh, needed, making sure you are not holding on to the outgrown dreams and old wishes and new opportunities is going to be coming in. The writ of the passage. So obviously you can see what is happening is that a lot of you have to be healing um, yourself, finding and balancing the mundane world with a spiritual world and this is going to be absolutely powerful for you because you're going to be happily resolving a lot of situation and having a brand new start as you move into 2022 and 2022 is going to be a double energy year so it's as if 2021 is preparing you to move into 2022 I love this energy. Thank God the devil isn't here. Um, last year the devil came up. This is about balancing out yourself, and you can see this healing, balancing, finding your soulmate twin, twin flames, and uh, healing and, and reconnecting with your guides and angel. And uh, this is absolutely fabulous. So, what we're looking at is uh, um, the best month. Let's look at the best month. A lot of you that is have a legal issue and was, you know, um, or be treated unfairly, justice is coming up. Um, not good for a, uh, not good for a Leo and not good for a, mm, not good for a Leo. Justice is coming up on the Leo. Um, not good for a Leo. Mm -mm. Uh, justice is, uh, so February is going to be good. Uh, April, May is going to be good. Um, July is going to be good. August is going to be good. September is going to be good. Uh, October, November. Okay. So if you notice, this is positive, but it's about people who are um, spiritual People in the fourth and fifth dimension who is looking for spirituality, it is going to be a good year for you guys. So whatever is transpiring, I see a Leo is in some serious problem. Justice came up on a Leo. They are finding out how this Leo have created some sort of a problem and issue. So Leo people, the first quarter is not going to be good for you guys, okay? Leos, the first quarter is not going to be good for you guys. So um, justice, uh, revamping, healing a situation is coming in. What we see is the energy of the lovers. Um, and I see in the month of uh, September, some of you could be getting divorcing. And um, in September, um, cancers who were feeling some sort of a problem with marriage, relationship, um, you could be healing that in September. Now, um, tell a moment for um, Leo's marriage, some sort of information with Leo's and their marriage, a tower moment. Um, I see Leo's are going to be trying to revamp it doesn't have to be Leos, but it could be other people. So some sort of a revamping, revamping of the energy. It is going to be a good year because whatever that was happening, it's as if you're going to be returning. Your powers is going to be returning to you in this year and balance is going to be reestablished. And as you go to October, November, those two months are going to be sweet for a lot of you. December is about the metaphors. So 
um, people who will be affected, affected. It could be a lot of people that you're changing your life, but for the scorpion, it's going to be absolutely fabulous. Um, whatever healing you scorpion have in September, November, and December is going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous. And this is going to be extremely good. And you're going to be understanding how to move forward in a better um, stability. So a lot of you, when we look at... Uh, um the um uh liberals i see you liberals could be having some sort of an issue some sort of a problems is going to be coming up for you liberals then we see um mm, gemini's is going to be good this year is going to be a lucky year for you gemini's whatever is happening and transpiring um luck is coming for you gemini's um, if, if some of you liberals could be also lucky, it depends. Okay. When it comes on to relationship, um, marriage that is going to be ending is Leo or relationship, new contract, business contract, business people. Um, uh, it's a good year to start your business. It's just a good year to start your business. So, uh, Virgos, you're going to be having relationship problems and, um, if you are a Virgo who start a business in this year, it's going to be a huge success. The Scorpions also. Gemini's, you're going to be bringing out some sort of information that people were not aware of. And I see you, Gemini, is going to be creating some sort of a change. Aquarians, when it comes on to business, it's going to be good. Some sort of a healing is coming up for Virgos and Aquarian, where there's some sort of a metaphor that is going to be happening. So Aquarians, wow. So this year could be a good year for uh, uh, the Tauruses. It's just a weird thing that nothing came up for the Capricorn. Nothing, nothing came up for the Capricorn. This is just so unbelievable. So if uh, I don't call, so let's go back to this. Aquarian, your luck is in October. Uh, Gemini, your luck is in July. Um, Libran, your luck could be in February. It depends, okay? But there is some sort of a tall moment for you. But it depends. Some of you could be having problems. Some of you are going to be having some sort of a balance in your world. Okay. Your month Libra is going to be February. Okay. So let's look at Taurus. You're running and ruling the whole year. So that is good. So your Taurus people are going to be helping all the rest of the Zodiac. Virgos, your month and lucky month is going to be June. Nothing for Capricorns. Capricorns, there is nothing here for you, okay? I'm so sorry, Capricorns. Um, the Aries also, there is nothing here. For so Capricorn and Aries people could be going through like a break in this year where um, rest is coming in. I'm not seeing anything for the Capricorn. Neither am I seeing anything for the Aries. So Capricorn and Aries, something is... Uh, um I kind of out with the Capricorn and the Aries. Aries uh, is in the month of the half year. Okay, Aries is going to be running the half year. Aries is uh, your luck is in uh, the month of uh, um, August. So Aries, you're going to get lucky in August, okay? And it's as if your luck is going to be returning in August. So um all right leah is going to be having some huge problem in this year whatever is transpiring some of you leos are going to be having some real problem legal issue tower moment all of that is not your air leo saggy 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 you are going to be lucky in the month of april um and june so saggy in the month of april you're going to be happy Ophios, uh, you are going to be happy in the month of November. So Ophios uh, is going to be balanced in the month of November. Okay, then we're looking at the Pisces. Um, 
A Pisces is another sign that is not here. The Pisces isn't here neither. So Capricorn and Pisces is just not here. Cancer. Yes, Cancer. Pisces. Yeah, because Pisces, you're having a really weird year. I have to advise you, Pisces, about that. This year, it's going to be very weird for you, Pisces. Uh, Cancer, your luck is going to be in the month of May, which is your birthday month. Uh, so Geminis are going to be very lucky in this year because Geminis, you're having luck in uh, May and also in June. Um, and the last one is Scorpion. Scorpion, you're cleaning up some sort of a mess. You're going to be released in September and in December. Wow. All right. Capricorn and Pisces is the one that was missing. Mm. What is going on for Capricorn and Pisces in this year? Um, you have to go check out your own birthday reading in order to find out uh, because uh, Capricorn and Pisces is not showing up in this year. So um, it is a year of organization, institution, um, and no energy of the Capricorn and the Pisces is here. So there is, I'm going to be going deeper and deeper um, in to see what is going to be happening and transpiring for them. So be aware of this. Okay. So um, some sort of a divorce, um, uh, cancer, uh, whoever is uh, married to a Gemini or a cancer and a Gemini that marry, your marriage is going to be ending. Okay, in this year, Cancer and Gemini that is married, marriage is going to be ending. Tower, yeah, uh, Virgos, you, um, Gemini, you could be divorcing in this year, okay? Yep. Oh, oh, yeah. And it's not going to be a very positive year for Leos. I'm sorry, Leos. Um, you can see it. It's not a positive year. So be aware. Uh, I do love you guys. Please leave a message. Share, share, share these videos. Let other people um, receive the messages. And congratulations to all of you who turn up in your ear. Come back and listen to when um, your, when, which month is going to be your month. I love you guys. Namaste. Thank you.